David had always been a light sleeper, so when he woke up in the middle of the night, he knew something was wrong. He rubbed his eyes and looked around his room, a delirium of sleep slowly fading away. It took a few moments for him to realize that his parents had not come to check on him since they left for dinner that evening. He quickly got out of bed and walked around the house, calling out for them, but there was no answer. The house was eerily quiet, and the only sound he could hear was his own rapid breathing. David's mind started to race with terrible possibilities. What if they had been kidnapped? Or worse, he tried calling them on their phones, but no one picked up. Panic began to set in. As David sat alone in the living room, he heard a strange noise coming from upstairs. It sounded like someone was moving around. He cautiously climbed the stairs and made his way to his parents' bedroom. As he approached their door, he heard an odd humming coming from inside. It resembled a lullaby, like one his mom used to sing to him, only very wrong. As if it were coming from a throat of great pain, gasping and wheezing. Was somebody hurt in the room? Should he call for help? David slowly pushed the door open. As his eyes searched for signs of his parents, a sudden bolt of lightning illuminated the room, revealing a person. No. A creature unlike anything he'd ever seen before. Tall and thin, with sinewy limbs that ended in terrible razor-sharp claws. Its skin was pale and translucent his eyes glowed a sickly green and sent shivers down David's spine. The creature's movements were jerky and unnatural, like a marionette being pulled by invisible strings. It opened its mouth impossibly wide, revealing rows of sharp teeth, and let out a guttural growl that made David's blood run cold. David's heart pounded in his chest as he stumbled backwards, trying to escape the room. But the creature was too fast, and it lunged at him with lightning speed. He tried to scream, but no sound came out as the creature grabbed him, teeth meeting flesh. And then he woke up, drenched in sweat. It had all been a nightmare. Still shaken, he sighed in relief and got out of bed, and searched for a glass of water. As he walked through the house to the kitchen, he felt a growing sense of unease. He couldn't shake the feeling that he wasn't alone in the house. Just as he was about to turn off the kitchen light, he saw a flicker of movement out of the corner of his eye. He turned to look, but there was nothing there. Just the same old house, in the same old neighborhood. But as he turned to walk away, he heard the soft humming of a familiar melody.